Alright, so before we start coding, let's just have a little talk about the difference between HTTPS that we're used to probably when we're working with the web and then web sockets where we start having real-time communication. So if you guys have ever played around with, with basic HTTPS to create a REST API or something like that, you know that what happens is we're going to, from a front end, we're going to send what we call a request. Now the request is going to be sent over the wire right here, somewhere over the internet, and then hopefully it's going to end up on the back end like this. And um, then on the back end, the back end is going to take the request and process it somehow and get a response back to the front end like that. So he gets that response right there. Now this works perfectly fine for single request response. That's perfect right here. And, and everybody uses that in the system. But sometimes you need something more because sometimes you want real live updates. Now you could do it still with the HTTP protocol if you wanted to. You could say that every time, every 20 seconds or something, I want to just go and send that request. So every 20 seconds, I'll say, dear backend, has something changed? And the backend will reply, like before, it'll say, well, here's the data that you had. It's, it's the same data as last time, but you asked for it, here you go. And then it'll wait for 20 seconds and it'll do it again. Mm, dear backend, I'll just send a new request for you. Uh, does anything change? And the backend will say, well, dear front end, there you go, here's the response, nothing has changed. Now you'll notice that's with a single front end, that would be okay. It would be kind of annoying for the back end to keep replying on the same thing. But and when we started had larger systems, maybe where we have like a million front ends or you have a lot more users, right? It would start being a problem right here because they would all ask every 20 seconds and the back end would have to kind of reply every 20 seconds, right? So think of it like you send so many messages now every 20 seconds and the back end has to kind of take all these messages and give responses to all the front ends. It would just be a waste of resources, right? So that's not what we're doing right here. Let's get rid of all those front ends. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to work with the beautiful, beautiful web sockets because that's more suitable for this problem right here. So let's just try and go and grab that web socket and go and do the same thing right here. Now let's start out. The first thing you still do is you send a request. You explain from the front end right here that you want to hook yourself and start listening to the back end. Now when you do that, it's kind of like you get a hook right here. So the back end knows who you are, right? Now with that knowledge, every time you might say, I want to listen for when a new message arrive. That's the area I want to listen for. So when a new message arrive, I want you to inform me automatically. I don't have to send requests anymore. Now what happens is the back end will actually, every time a new thing happens, automatically just send the response right back at me, okay? So I don't have to listen uh, to ask anymore with a re request. I just have to keep listening now. So again, it waits and then at some point something new happens, automatically I get the reply. That's how it works with a WebSocket compared to the HTTP request. So next lesson, let's try and, and go and program that. See you next time, have fun.